Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Glory. If you're watching this video, you're either watching on YouTube or Instagram. So I decided to make uh, YouTube videos and Instagram posts with tips for nursing students and new grad nurses. And this is one of my videos packed with me for work. So first, I have this um, my clipboard. And this is a very great one, um, has some notes in there, has some pages. Of course, I've used this since nursing school, so I have quite a lot of stuff in there. So this is ready for report. You can literally just take your report paper, put there, and then close it. It's just too big sometimes. I don't always use it, but when I'm writing report, I use it, so it's very good. So that's the first thing that I pack. Also, it gives some shape to my purse. That's a very big purse that I got. For my mom and it has so much room everything that i have fits in there and then the other thing that i usually have so where i put my stethoscope it's like my so that's the second thing that i have for you guys here so i have all my sets of pen if you know nurses don't play with their pens so i have all colors of pens and these are very important when i make a video or post about how to take report and how i do report especially if i work three days in a row these come in handy having different colors and then i have my scissors very important always have scissors and then i have uh, my correction tape i have that there and then i have my cute pens can you guess what type of nurse i am <laughs> what for what unit when you see this um so i have my cute pens there and then i always have an highlighter that's also very important when i show you how i take a report and um how i use this you're gonna see only when i use one pen and then this i use it to highlight the most important information that i want to relate on the next uh, nurse that's coming um so usually day shift because i work night shift you don't know what this is oops <laughs> and uh, i have my stethoscope in there and i usually have a marker as well dry eraser because you know when i go introduce myself to my patients i write my name i always just have mine because sometimes in the rooms you know i don't you know i use my own um there could be one in the room there could not be and when i go say hi for like i pass or bedside uh shift report i just immediately use mine that i have in my pocket and then write um down the like my name and everything all right so that also goes in it but let me see it's like really nice if you don't have one of these i'll suggest that you get this i got this for my graduation gift uh, all right i put that in there so the other important thing i always have this you know i didn't want to buy like goggles and stuff but so i just got this but i just carry it because sometimes you have to wear these in rooms and i always have uh extra masks like face masks i buy these black ones off of amazon because they don't hurt my ears they don't they don't give me a headache so i like this i always have like a bigger one even in my car but yeah i always carry extras in my purse and then i have um i always have my headphones and a charger I just put it all together yes i still use these i'm still one of those that use these headphones they're very very good i mean i'm not gonna lose them <laughs> But anyway, um, that's just me. Um, and then I have I have my two watches. So this one, um, I had it since nursing school. You know, looking at uh, when I was taking vitals, looking at you know counting pulses, respirations, and stuff. It's just very handy. And then I have this one that counts steps. I don't wear all the like the the same like at the same time. I mean, I usually have this one for my steps. And then I'm just like used to now like counting, and I'll just look at the clock in the room when I'm counting respirations or like heart rate and everything but sometimes i will you know wear one of this um so that also goes in my purse because i mean just for now i usually have it in my hand but of course you get the point and then the most important thing so sometimes i will have like a you know notepad or something in case i want to do something and this is i like it because it was just like a plain one and i put some stickers on it like i really love it and I'll keep that also in there. So if I have something to work on, read or something, I will take my tablet with me. But um, that just depends because sometimes you hear stories about people stealing here when I open them. So sometimes I'll just take my, um, well, here, I'll just take my, you know, 
tablet with me but it's not all the time if i need to do something and i need it then i'll take it and i have a locker too so if i need to lock something in my personal locker i will do that and this is you know let's imagine this is beautiful me and that's my badge i bought this off of amazon they're very great and um actually fell and then the neck part of it broke but i have an extra one like i have extras actually that i can always change if i wanted to but so this is my badge and I just put my ID in there. Um, also bought this off of Amazon. And then I have my key for my locker. So if I need to put anything like my tablet or my wallet or anything in my locker, I will do that. And I always wear my badge before I leave home because it's very important. Um, the other thing I was talking about is snacks. So I always have like, you know, protein bar or, you know, some chocolate for energy at some point and then i have some like cashews or you know nuts or anything that you want these are just like things that i can reach like really fast but usually i have my uh lunch box so most of my food and stuff will be in my lunch box like fruits and everything else and then the other important thing i have like a hand sanitizer i also have one like in my um car so i have that i pack that as well and there's still plenty of room in my purse right now and then I always have gum or any other thing that I can just like munch on when I'm, you know, charting, working, when it's quiet in the unit. Okay, the other important thing, I always take the bug mist. This is very important. If you work in healthcare, you know that there are some smells so just stick to you. You can never, never get rid of it. You just smell it on you. So that's why most of us, when we get home, immediately in the shower because there's just some weird smells you know so i always have like a body mist and i try to get the ones that are not too strong i also have this um that's the brazilian crush it's really good but sometimes it's like very strong so i i try to be careful with this especially if i have patients that are very sensitive to smells that can get nauseous and everything but i always make sure i have like a, a body mist or something just to spray myself so that i don't get all the smell on me and then um that's another like hand lotion that i also have and i have like plenty of this trust me you're gonna need this and then this you can tell i use it a lot <laughs> that's for bath and body works and then champagne toast that's like one of my favorite and i i use this a lot like this is like a second one and i have like extras just in case i keep in my car i keep you know in my purse like small hand lotions i think i have one more uh in my thing so i'm gonna put that there and I still have a lot of space in this purse. I really love this purse. So I'll put that in there as well since I'm just showing you guys what I pack. And then uh, if I don't want to use like a body mist, I use this Victoria's Secret Bombshell as well to just make me smell better and smell good. Because at some point when you just go in rooms, you deal with different smells. Like to be honest, and you don't want something that's going to overwhelm you or overwhelm the patient. So you want to really feel good and smell good because I'm telling you, y'all will know what I'm talking about. There are some smells that you never thought existed until you worked in healthcare. So this is also good. And then I also use some of these sometimes, especially this wash, like, you know, body cream or like, you know, when I go into a room where I know like, okay, there's some weird smells in there. I'll just use that and put it under my nose and then uh, like good thing we have masks okay so i'll just put a little bit under my nose or in my mask and then wear it and i won't smell any weird thing it's just gonna smell good because i put this under my nose in my mask and then the other thing that i have of course that i pack in my thing so this one is cute i can put it actually in my badge yeah let me grab my badge i can actually even like put it on my badge and this you can put you know like a lip balm or um like order blocker there's some order blocker that you can buy on amazon again this helps with like strong smells in at work you can put it under your nose or also put it like in your mask to help like like with the strong smells that you may be smelling and some people put it in like on their badges and stuff that so you can really put anything on your badge like it's you know but sometimes it gets heavy because i put mine like on my, in my pocket and I don't want anything waiting on it but that's it so this is what you can do as well and then I have you know I can put my wallet in there and then and then I have my car keys in there and I usually usually pack a book 
these are just like three of the books that i've taken with me to work i'm done reading this book gosh i don't even know what to tell you it was just like a roller coaster of emotions and then um i also read this book and i'm done reading this one so the one that i'm reading currently is this one so i always make sure i pack a book because sometimes when i'm done charting and i don't want to be on my phone i can just like have a book to read and i put that in there and this is it y'all this is it my purse it's quite heavy but i get everything in there and if i want it i can always carry it this way but yeah